Recently, I've been seeing these 4G POC handsets built around this tiny square design. There's also a small AM FM receiver built around a similar shell too, but today I want to show you the TXQ offering built around a similar design, and that is the G63. This is a tiny UHF handset that fits in the palm of your hand. It's fully computer programmable and works on repeaters. It's a really smart looking, weighty, sturdy radio and I've never seen anything quite like it. It comes in at 6.9 by 5.5 by 4 centimeters and weighs 155 grams all in. These radios operate between 400 and 480 megahertz UHF and output around 2 watts which is impressive for something so small. On the left is the PTT and function buttons. They navigate between the radio's 16 programmable channels and when the top one is held it opens the squelch and when the bottom one's held it gives a battery percentage. On the front is the speaker grill. On the right is the Kenwood style programming cable jack and speaker mic jack as well as a USB-C charging port. On the top is the on off and volume knob and the battery slots into place on the back. The radio comes with a UHF stubby antenna, belt clip, wrist strap and a charging base and you can choose from a variety of different colours. The programming software is available from TXQ and is a really simple piece of spreadsheet type software which allows you to change all of the radio settings. So let's go out and do some testing. With 70cm being particularly quiet around here, I'm going to do some tests back to base from set distances to see how well the radio performs. OK, so we're at Wernith Low, the usual high spot. I've got the mini walkie talkie with me and first we're going to put a call back to base on 433525. That's about two miles over in that direction. There is a little bit of land between us, um, but I'm hoping on the two watt output power on this radio that we'll make the trip back to base. So here we go. Okay, this is M3HHY, Mike 3, Hotel, Hotel Yankee Mobile on Wernith Low. Testing back to base. Testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, this is M3HHY, Mike 3, Hotel, Hotel Yankee Mobile on Wernith Low. Testing back to base. Testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, so I've moved a little bit closer, we're about a mile and a half away now. It may not sound like a lot, but don't forget we are we are sort of not that high up um, anymore and we're only using 2 watts, so we'll put a call back to base and see if we can get back there. Okay, this is M3HHY Mobile testing on 433525 back to base at 1.5 miles, 12345, Mobile testing on 433525 back to base at 1.5 miles 12345 Okay, so we're about a mile away from the home QTH now, so this should be a, an easy trip back for this uh, for this radio. So here we go. Okay, this is M3 HHY Mobile testing on 433525. Testing 12345 54321 at around a mile. Okay, this is M3 HHY Mobile testing on 433525. Testing 12345 54321 at around a mile. Okay, and lastly, we're around half a mile now, so we'll just put one last call out and see how we do. Okay, this is M3 HHY Mobile, Mike 3 Hotel, Hotel Yankee Mobile testing on 433525 at around half a mile. Testing one two three four five five four three two one. Okay, this is M three HHY Mobile Mike three Hotel Hotel Yankee Mobile. Testing on four three three five two five at around half a mile. Testing one two three four five five four three two one. So as you can see, a good performing radio there, considering its size and two watt output power. I really like these because they're so unusual, and I can't really report anything negative. The computer programmable and take the Kenwood style jack which is the same as most other Chinese two-way radios. The small and compact but feel really solid and rugged and they're really simple to use. So if you'd like to check out these radios for yourself 
I'll leave a link in the description below.